Hello, hello everybody. All right, you guys. So I am here to plan for spring. And as you can see from my pre-planning sheet, spring is about to get lit. <laughs> we have so many things going on. So I did a setup in this planner for March. So if you guys did not see that, make sure you check that out. And I have planner babe in here, but it's taken some twisty turnies because I just, I like to change things up. It's just how I do. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I'm using this gorgeous monthly from the Happy Illustrations. And there are just a couple of dividers from this planner that I absolutely stinking loved. <laughs> so this was the monthly and all of the weeklies kind of were blue like this too. And I wasn't a big fan of that, but for the monthly, I thought that was so cute. So I need to get all of my things on here first. I have trash days, but I want to make sure on these trash days that there's not other things going on. I'm trying to like multitask here because I just realized that I don't have something on here. There could potentially be like a St. Patrick's Day celebration in the preschool classroom on that day, but I don't know. So we'll see. Well, hello everybody. I just wanted to quickly thank today's video sponsor, Wondershare. And today I'm going to be sharing with you their new product called Crop Pro. I'm really excited about this product and I'm really excited to work with Wondershare for a second time. I shared previously one of their products called PDF Element and I still use that product on probably a weekly basis in, in my day-to-day -day life. So I'm really excited to be working with them again. You guys know that I like to share brands with you that I, I truly and genuinely love. So Crop Pro is awesome because it lets you quickly capture any screen, make visual how-to guides. It allows you to give better feedback on thing. So for example, if you're a teacher and you want to make a screenshot and give some feedback that way, you can definitely do that. And it can make your communication more productive. So let's go ahead and take a look at this crop Pro feature. So I was taking a look at it and I was kind of playing around with it. So I like to use screenshots when I'm making my YouTube thumbnails. So any of you out there who either take screenshots for your Instagram photos on your planner accounts or for your video thumbnails on any of your, you know, YouTube channels, this could be a really great tool for that. So I think that that is kind of how I would use it the most. So let's just take a look at the different things that you can do. So when you're in the software, in the Crop Pro software, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to hit this yellow button that says selected area capture. And then the application will kind of go down to the side and you'll get this little box. You can also see around the edges that there is a yellow box to let you know that you are taking a screenshot. So this box will let you know kind of what you're seeing. So right now you can see that my cursor is along the edge. So it's showing me kind of the black outside of the photo. But when I move it into the photo, that close up area kind of gives me an idea of where the screenshot is going to start. So I want it to start in the corner and get this whole picture. So we'll go ahead and scroll through. I still like that it's magnifying it through so I can see a very precise image that I'm going to get. So that is awesome. And this is going to be a thumbnail that I could use for one of my YouTube videos. I am just kind of playing with this software right now, but I will definitely share this thumbnail and kind of how you guys can create it for your own YouTube videos. So we'll go ahead and select that we want to open this, but you can either pin it to your screen, you can save it, or you can make a copy. Or if you don't like how your crop turned out, you can exit it altogether. You can also just make your edits right here on the photo. You don't necessarily need to open it in the program. So it's really kind of up to your discretion, but they can do some really cool things. So let me show you a couple of different things that you can do with your photos. So this would be a thumbnail that I would use for my planner haul, which you guys saw previously. It was either the video before this or a few videos before this, but this is going to be one for my planner haul. So some things that you can do, let's see here. So you can add text. So I like to add text into my into my YouTube videos. I like to add text on the thumbnails. So adding something in here, like I could say, let's see, I like to do kind of exclamatory things. So it's a haul. How exciting. So I would like to include that and you can make it a variety of colors. So kind of however you want to do it. So if you wanted to have it red, you could do that or black, yellow, green, 
or you could choose a different color. So it gives you your full color wheel down here, which is kind of cool. So you could do that. And you could also, if you wanted to, you know, kind of point something out in the video. So for example, if I really wanted to emphasize the bracelet down here, which I love from these hauls and from those companion packs, I could add a little arrow in there, kind of pointing to the bracelet to maybe make this thumbnail a little bit more intriguing because, you know, the goal of a thumbnail is to get folks to click on things. So you could also add lines. I'm not going to do that to this photo. You could add shapes if you wanted to. You could make things opaque. So for example, if you had some information that you didn't want to share, I know that some of us on Instagram, you know, they like to share their planner spreads, but maybe they don't want to share information that's in the planner, but you could go ahead. I'm just going to erase this text just to kind of show you, but you could make that opaque. Okay. So you could do that. If you didn't like what you did, you could go back and do that. So other things that you can do, you can highlight a different area. So if I wanted to highlight around this text right here, I could do that if I didn't like that, or I could highlight around this text. You guys know that I like to add a little bit of colorful things to my text on my thumbnails. So I could do that. And if you were doing something maybe for work, or if you wanted to take a screenshot of something to send to a colleague, you could add one of these little text things. I'll kind of show it to you. I'm not going to add it permanently to this thumbnail just because I don't think it will, I don't think it'll work for this particular thing, but it gives you that image. That's kind of cool. You can also select one of their, <laughs> one of their cute little stickers. This might be kind of cute for a thumbnail. So you could add one of these little guys. It could say, see you. It could, let's see, this one is kind of cute where it's asking a question, <laughs> you know, what's up? Very cute. Those are adorable. So that is how I would use it. Then you could go ahead and save the photo. You could open it up in a different window and then you would be done. Okay. So along the bar up here, you can either continue to crop the photo. So if you didn't like the crop that you took originally, you could do that. You could you make a copy of it or you could save it or yeah so you could go ahead and save it like this so i would go ahead and just save it i like to save things to my downloads photos so that i can grab it right away and add it to my video so i would say that this is my haul thumbnail so then i would go ahead and save it and you can save it as a png a JPEG or a .bmp. So any of those options are good. I like to either save mine as a JPEG or a PNG when I'm doing my thumbnails. So I'll just stick with this one. And so then it's gonna appear down in my, my downloads photos. So it appeared right here in my downloads. And so there is my thumbnail. So now I can go ahead and use that on any video that I wanted. So that is the Wondershare Crop Pro. And again, I wanted to go ahead and thank them again for sponsoring today's video. If you go ahead and pick up a licensing key for this product and begin to use this product, you can also get it at a really great price. It's at an early bird price. So feel free to check out their website for that information. And make sure you check out my description down below for all of the information on where to find this product and to connect with Wondershare for either this Crop Pro product or their PDF Element product. So again, all of that information will be linked down below. And thank you again to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I definitely know that there is something else happening on Tuesday the 3rd. And I'm sure you guys know what it is too. It is the Mambi release for the 18 month planners and the gaggle of stickers they have coming out. You guys, let me know down below if you're just so excited or if you feel like overwhelmed or what you're feeling about the Mambi release. Let me know. Let me know all the things. And I feel like, okay, so I have the Happy Illustrations book here too. And some of these some of these stickers they have in here are little like boxes with discs in them oh you guys I am kind of obsessed <laughs> okay so let's see okay so there's one with like a little planner that could be cute with the gold although there are some other things in here that were like silver that I wanted to use so I don't know I don't know if I want to do that if I want to do gold foil if I want to commit to that Okay, there are some planner stickers. This is kind of cute. It does have some gold. 
I guess I could be okay mixing metals. I don't know. Or maybe I could just not mix metals and just keep it gold. I don't know. I wish there was a disc or a planner one that didn't have gold on it. Maybe there is. Maybe I just need to flip further into this book. And if you don't have this sticker book, you guys need to grab it. It's stinking adorable. This is like one of my all time favorites. I think I'm going to use this yellow sticker because yellow is always fun and happy. So I'm going to use this one to mark the Mambi release. And there is just all kinds of like dust and things <laughs> apparently flying around my craft room. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> you guys, I don't know what's happening. So spring forward. Who's not excited about spring forward? Let's not think about that. Let's think about the Mambi release, which is super exciting. I will just be very excited about the Mambi release for right now. So we'll put that and I'm going to write everything in at the end. So I have my notes over here and that will be, I'll just be how it is. Okay. So that is on there. Love that. Super excited. So again, let me know what you guys are getting. There are just too many things that are on my list right now. <laughs> I feel like there are just all the things. Okay. So I really like this St. Patrick's Day sticker for my monthly. Oh, we have a first day of spring sticker too. So we'll see if we can get it to cover this. I might have to just trim it a little as I rifle around my desk. Don't mind me. Don't mind the banging around noises. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to take off this little point and just make it like a straight-ish, straight-ish line, straight, as straight as I could make it. <laughs> I'm not very good with the straight lines. That is why I'm not a bullet journaler because I can't do straight lines, you guys. Straight lines are hard for me, although that turned out pretty darn good. So that will cover up this. Oh, that's cute. I really like that. Cute. And then there was a first day of spring one in here too. First day of summer, first day of spring. Hmm, I don't think that's going to cover that very well, but we'll try. We shall try. This might have to be in my weekly. Yeah, that's not going to work as much as I would like it to. Also, it doesn't really go with the flow of this, this spread. Maybe we'll save that for that week and we'll do like a purpley florally spread. I'm not typically a planner that's very big into floralies. <laughs> I'm more into like seasonal things. That's typically what I do, but you never know. I could, I could do, I can do a floral spread too. I have done floral spreads and they've turned out really cute. Not to toot my own horn, but I do like a floral spread here and there. The next day, I am the on-call preschool volunteer. So we'll put that. I also am eventually going to need to get my trash day stickers in there. But I've been finding that I probably need to wait until the end to get those in there. And the pen that I'm writing with is my new... Kell of a fan pen from her newest Kell of a fan box. I didn't unbox it on here because I was on a bit of a break. If you didn't see or hear about any of that, like two videos ago, I talk about it a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> you can hear all the tea over there. Okay. And then let's see, spring forward is happening. Yes. Daylight savings time is happening. Whether I want to pretend it is or not, I just I don't know. I feel like I'm already tired and I don't need to lose an hour. Like nobody needs that. Like, come on. Can't we just be done with daylight savings time? If any of you live in Arizona where daylight savings time is not a thing, let me know how that has positively impacted your life. <laughs> I'm sure it has greatly impacted your life in a positive way. Okay. So then Friday the 6th, I have a staff meeting to go to for work which will be super exciting. Delilah also has no school that day. I have the student sticker book. I have all the sticker books. So you know how I usually try to be really good about like pre-planning and all of that on my sticker sheets? Not so much right now because I'm just now like getting back into things. Okay, so there's this no school sticker, which I think is kind of cute and kind of matches. Yeah, that'll work. No school for Del. So for Delilah, no school. We'll just put that there and that'll be a reminder for me. I will know who does not have school. Harrison does have school, but I'm at a work meeting. So sometimes Brian likes to keep Harrison home and hang out with him when I'm at my work meetings because preschool, I mean, preschool's fun and it's very valuable. I see totally the value in it, but sometimes he just likes to do that. What else do we have happening here? 312, my sweet girl has an IEP meeting, plus there are conferences happening that day. I wonder if there is a conferences sticker. I'm sure there is. I'm sure in this spring part, there are conferences. Shopping, tea party. Oh, maybe I'm wrong game night. Maybe on the teacher one. Tea party, cupcakes, game night. Let's see. I have the teacher seasonal also out. 
early dismissal. She also has early dismissal every Wednesday. Don't know if I need to mark that. There are four Wednesdays and only three stickers. Looks like I don't need to mark that because I don't have enough. Class picture. Oh, spring break. We'll mark that. That's actually kind of a nice spring break thing. Class party. Oh, there's the conferences. There was another conferences. Okay, hold on. Let's see if they have a springy one. They have like a conferences every season. Okay, yellow. We have a green one on the 12th. We'll do that. Oh, spring forward. Don't remind me. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, and we gotta get our trusty scissors out here again. Let me know how you guys feel about spring forward. Okay, so what I do like about spring forward is I do like the longer days. So we can play outside and do more of the things and the weather is nice and all of that but the whole like <sighs> adjusting I honestly feel like the older I get the harder time I have adjusting to the time change and what's more is that like <laughs> my kids are just like what is happening maybe they'll be sleeping later I don't know maybe I just said that backwards too honestly I don't know we're filming kind of late at night Okay, so Delilah has a conference on this day. So these are actually cool because they'll be student-led conferences. So I need to sign up for that soon. Okay, on here there was also a spring forward. I apologize if this plan with me... Oh, these are kind of cute conference stickers too. That's okay. This plan with me is a bit all over the place. This is the first time I've really been in my planner in a while. And it's the first time I've talked to you guys in kind of a while. Wear green. I can put that on St. Patrick's Day and then spring forward. Oh, she does have a progress reports day, I thought. Let's see on... Oh, that was the three six progress reports. We'll put report cards. <laughs> we'll just use all these. Spring forward. Daylight savings time is gonna go here. Spring forward. And then we're gonna put wear green over here on St. Patrick's Day. And then we are going to do progress reports right here. We can put that into the weekend, that's okay. All right, and then what's next? So mom St. Patrick's Day, we have spring forward on the 8th. Okay, St. Patrick's dinner, oh, three, five. This whole week, busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so three, five is the parent meeting for outdoor school. And some of you have told me that you are familiar with what outdoor school is. If you're not familiar with what outdoor school is, it's fantastic. I'm not here to like sell outdoor school or anything, but it's basically a week long camp kind of experience for kids. And they get to go with their teachers and their class and they get to like have class in the outdoors, I suppose, which is exciting. I think that's gonna be so much fun. I went to outdoor school and I also went, so you can go when you're in the sixth grade as a student. And then when you're in high school, you can go back as what they call a student leader. And I went every possible chance that I could go as a student leader, which means that I went six times. I went twice every year. You can't go as a freshman, but you can go as a sophomore, junior, and a senior, and you can go in the fall and in the spring. So I went as many times as they would let me go, and I got this fun little fancy pin, and it was fantastic. One of the best experiences of my life that I still remember, and I still hold very, very dear. So <laughs> I loved outdoor school. I probably will always love outdoor school. And I'm so excited that my kiddo gets to go because it's also one of those things that is funded through the school. And there have been times where it was maybe like on the edge of not being funded. And I was like, oh no, my kid's not gonna get a chance to go. But I am super excited that she is gonna get to go. It's gonna be very cool. And she's excited, like they've got her all pumped up for it. And yeah, so I cannot wait till she gets to go. Maybe I should do pink there. It's kind of a lot of blue. I'm just talking and trying to make the things <laughs> happen. Let me know down in the comments if you're familiar with outdoor school. It's a fantastic program. Let's see, important. Maybe we'll call it an important thing. We have the outdoor school parent meeting at 545. But yeah, this whole week, madness, it looks like. Also on the day that we have conferences, Miss Delilah has an IEP meeting, which is awesome can't wait to go meet with her teachers. I love talking to them about like how to make school work for her, which is fantastic. 
she's got some very great teachers on her team so that's great 3 3 is the release 323 okay I also have a preschool volunteer day on 318 315 is where so my mom every year hosts a St. Patrick's Day dinner which is really fun and so that's the day that's happening on 315 so we try to get all of our family together to do that fun little dinner situation so St. Patrick's Day I should have put the wear green maybe I will maybe I'll move that maybe I'll move wear green with a little box over there I think it's still fresh enough that I can peel it up pretty easily there we go so this is kind of where I need one of those planning sheets those plan to plan those that, that Mambi is coming out with if you've seen them I think they only have them for the weeklies right now but I hope they come out with them for all kinds of different things it's gonna be awesome okay and if you don't know what I mean if you're like what the heck in their new release they have these like overlay sheets they're like clear planning sheets that you can like put your stickers down on and then and then you can kind of see where things are at before you plan and it's easier to move stuff around I hope those become a thing in all of the different they have them for all of your weekly spreads but I'd love to have one for my monthly spread too like that because <laughs> I just screwed up that sticker I'm telling you getting back into this planning can be a bit of a struggle but I'm super stoked to be here I feel refreshed after my not being on the YouTubes for a while but I'm excited to be back and hanging out with all of you and my lighting is super weird right now because it's late at night and you know I put all the artificial lights out but sometimes it's just dark <laughs> sometimes it's just either like really bright or really dark it's just how it goes okay so we'll put wear green on there for st. Patrick's Day dinner and so she makes like a traditional meal this is probably not traditional for any of you who live in Ireland or in the UK or anywhere like that but it's traditional to American St. Patrick's Day. We make like a corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, carrots, sometimes like a soda bread, things like that. So that is what we do, which is kind of cool. I am also going to look and see if there is a first day of spring sticker in this teacher book. Oh my gosh. And you guys, I am just trying to hold my head up right now. <laughs> So I went on a bike ride today with my littles and I am feeling it. <laughs> I need to do that more often. Oh, you guys, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I really need to do it more often. Hello spring. Spring is in the air. Yeah, this is not so much flowers. Flowers can be in May. Ooh, that'll be pretty. Okay, so I think, oh, and then spring break. I wanted to mark spring break with this sticker. There was a pink one right here. Spring break. I really like the look of this one, especially for this page. So spring break, I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle here so that I still have some room on the 23rd if I need to write something down. And okay, so here there could be a St. Patrick's Day or like celebration or something happening in the preschool classroom, but I don't know what that would be. Oh, I do have a preschool volunteer day here. Oh my gosh, I have literally all of the sticker books out right now, you guys, all of them. <laughs> I didn't know what I was gonna need. I am nothing if I'm not prepared, that's for certain. Okay, so that I don't think I'm gonna need. I wanna look in here and see if there's like a rainbow sticker that I can put there. Spring vibes, spring break, go your own way. I'm sure I'm gonna need all of those rainy day stickers. I need like a page of those. I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's basically gonna rain from now until May, which is fine. I love the rain, but you know <laughs> that's just how it goes i do need a whole sheet of those though okay i'll use this one for my other preschool volunteer day so we'll put that here let's see i have a couple of paydays that i would like to mark in here and i thought there were some cute payday stickers in this sticker book oh the packing list sticker just made me so excited okay so leanne my podcast comrade my co-host is currently at the chicago planner conference and seeing all of her stories is making me so excited for for go wild i literally cannot wait i'm so excited you guys i cannot wait to get my feet wet into a planner conference and she was telling me all of these people who like knew my name and I don't know that felt so surreal to me that people 
who are in the community and who are like bigger in the community know who I am. Cause I, I don't know, like I know that, obviously I know that people watch my videos. I'm, I am aware, <laughs> but sometimes I'm just like, wait, what? Like you're, you know me, you are aware of me. I don't, I don't even know what is life. <laughs> because I still feel, I still feel very humble, I suppose, in my planning journey. And I don't know, I just feel like I am just this small town girl who, or I guess city girl, if you would like to say that. Oh geez, welcome to my arm. Who just, you know, who just does her thing in her planner. And you know, I just jam on my planner. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. I think I'm a little delirious. I'm kind of tired. I don't know. Not that I don't feel like, okay. I just don't feel like I'm a big deal, if that makes any sense. And that's not to try to get people to say, oh my gosh, you are a big deal. Because I still don't. I don't, I just don't feel that. I feel like I'm just, you know, doing my thing here in my planner and I'm glad that you guys like it. Okay, payday is happening there. Payday is also, and I, I have some other random little paydays because I am gonna be doing some more sponsored content. So if you guys see sponsored things happening, it's just how it's gonna go for a while because I have goat wild stuff to pay for. It's not like, oh geez, I've been called all kinds of crazy things about working, <laughs> working with sponsors and brands and stuff. It's not that I'm selling out. It's really that I'm just taking an opportunity that presents itself, which I think is great and I love, but not everybody loves that. Just know that I can't come and meet you guys at cool things like Go Wild and I can't, you know, increase the production on this channel if it's not for things like sponsors. So really, uh, almost 100%, I will not say 100%, but almost 100% of that money that I make from sponsored content goes directly back into the channel. Like it either goes towards me being able to buy planners to show you guys, like some folks are asking me to show them planners, like the wedding collections and stuff that I probably wouldn't pick up, but it goes towards things like that where I can or, you know, buying things for a giveaway and all of that good stuff. So with that being said, you will see more sponsored content, but I'm not gonna put all of those little paydays on my calendar, but I will put my trash days cause I love marking my trash days. I don't know what it is about these trash day stickers. I just love marking it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> is anybody else weird like me and you really like marking something like that in your planner? Like you just really, it just really is makes you feel good to know that that is marked in your planner. Let me know. Let me know if there is something like that. You probably will not see a weekly plan with me from this, from me this week, but if you want to see my weekly spread for the first week in March, you can check that out over on Instagram. I think I would like to put a few little decorative items on here. I'm going to try some stuff out of here because I do kind of want to stay with this like rainbow type theme. I think it's super cute. Enjoy life. Ooh, that's really cute too. I like that. I wish that wasn't quite so big, but that's right. I thought there were some cute rainbow quotes in here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, I'm gonna use this little rainbow that says be happy because I love that. And I'm gonna put it right here on the 14th, which means something is inevitably gonna <laughs> pop up. Oh, I just feel like we need one more little rainbow in there. Okay, and okay, this is a fun book with lots of rainbow stuff in here. Radiate Positivity, yay! Oh, this book is so fun. It makes me so happy. <laughs> Just looking at this book, it's like, oh yeah, you are a fun book. Do you ever get that vibe when you're like flipping through a sticker book? You're like, oh yeah, you were fun. <laughs> I remember doing a spread with you. I feel like that happens to me all the time. Like I will use a sticker book and then I'm like, okay, I did a spread with that. I'm done with that for a little bit. And then I'll come back to it. And I'm like, oh yeah, that was so fun. Rainbow is my favorite color. <laughs> Rainbow is a good color. I must say it is a good color. Okay. What else do we have in here? Gotta be something. There are just entirely too many sticker books on my, my desk. I have to move some things around. <laughs> Bloom baby bloom. Ooh, that's like a different color palette, but a similar, a similar little rainbow. Make your own luck. Ooh, fancy. Oh my gosh, the Easter stickers are just so cute. Bike ride through the park. 
All right, I'm gonna try spring and the student one. Let's see if there's anything cute and rainbowy in here that I can put down. Make your own luck. Stop and smell the flowers. Happy Easter. Oh, hello spring. We'll put that on our first day of spring. That's cute. Hello spring. Finally. <laughs> Although it's been pretty warm. In Oregon, we've already had like some 60 degree days, which is nice. Choose joy. No rain without rainbows. That's actually the one I was looking for. Super cute. Tea party. I feel like I need to have a tea party. Sometimes I just want to do all the things. All the fun things. No rain, no rainbows. That'll be a good reminder this rainy, rainy spring. Oregon is notorious for, for its rainy springs, but I do love it. I do love the rain. As strange as that sounds, the rain is actually one of my favorite things about living in Oregon. Some people are like, oh my goodness, I could not live in a place that was so rainy, or some people call it dreary. <laughs> Some people say that, but I love living here in the rain. It's one of my favorites. Today is the perfect day to be happy. Absolutely. What day isn't the perfect day to be happy? <sighs> Eat dinner outside, get a spring mani-pedi. Ooh, on payday, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna get a spring mani-pedi. So I'm gonna put that on the 13th, even though inevitably something else I'm sure is gonna pop up. Ooh, Friday the 13th, that's exciting. I do love a Friday the 13th too. Wear green, have that down, plant some seeds. We've been doing that, we've been getting our garden ready. Make a spring craft, go for a bike ride, go berry picking, ooh, we need to do that. Go on a nature hike, have a picnic, celebrate Earth Day, that'll be coming up in April. Do yoga outside, that sounds awesome. Spring forward, I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> Yay for sunshine, currently loving. Okay, pinks, hmm, all right. I know watching me decorate my planner is probably like watching paint dry, I'm sorry. I'll try to wrap this up. <laughs> I just love to, I love to add the decorative elements and it really makes me feel happy about being in my planner. Let me know if that's true for you too. I'm sure it is. If you're watching this video, I'm sure that's very true for you. Visit the zoo, ooh, look for rainbows. That's a cute quote too. All right, we'll put look for rainbows. That right here, cute. Oh, that actually turned out really cute. Okay, so now I will add the pen and I will be right back. I need to decide on like a top three. So top three this month, probably the Happy Planner release is number one. Love that. Happy Planner release. And then my second thing is, oh, that Outdoor School Parent Night. That's gonna be awesome. ODS Parent Night. And then probably Spring Break is my next one. Pretty excited and I am ready for spring break. I think my students are ready for spring break. My kids are ready for spring break. Oh, we're all just, we're very ready. <laughs> so this is what my monthly spread looks like a little closer, you guys. I know the coloring is a little bit off just cause just because we're filming at night, but this is what I ended up with. Let's move these sticker books so you can see all the things. I love how it turned out, and if you want to see, again, my March setup, if you have not already, make sure you go check that out. Thank you all for your love and your support and your kind words while I was away, you know, doing things, taking time with my family, that kind of thing. I appreciate all of that, but I am super, super stoked to be back with all of you, so thank you for being here, and if you want to follow me on other social platforms you can find me 
over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I am also on a podcast with Leanne Spicer from Spiced Plans. Our podcast is called Spiced Chaos, and you can find us on most places where podcasts are served. You can also find us over on our Spice Chaos Instagram. And yeah, I think that is all the things. You can also find me on Patreon if you want to pledge to one of my tiers to support me a little bit more to see if we can keep this channel growing and going. That would be super helpful. But yeah, so that is everything that I have for you guys today. Let me know what you thought of my monthly. I like to keep it functional and kind of cute. And thank you guys so much for being here. And by the way, have fun today.